Hello sweet friends, welcome back to the vlog. I have lots of fun stuff for you today. Um, obviously we are kicking it off with Garlic Harvest Day. And this year I waited until um, late in the second week, so almost the third week of July, to pull these. Um, I pulled them right at the beginning of July last year and it was just a little too early. I still think one of the beds of garlic could have stayed in for maybe an extra week, but they look pretty good, so I'm okay with it. Um, I'm also going to be doing some garden bed maintenance. I'm pulling some crusty old peas out of here right now, so you'll see some of that. But before we get too deep into the vlog, I'm just going to give you a little moment of zen in my garden and show you what's been blooming. So uh, take a breath and enjoy, and I'll see you in about a minute. Hello, hi. I just wanted to pop the camera on real quick to show you guys what I just got in the mail. Uh, it's an influencer media kit, which I think makes me an influencer. I hate that word. Anyway, I'm excited to get the kit because it contains... It's Maria's book! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so cute. I knew it was going to be cute. So the illustrator, um, she does a, her company's like Hem, Hemlava or something. They do all those really cute plant pins, like a little enamel pins. And um, I almost bought one in New York and then I didn't. And I was kind of kicking myself for not getting it. But Mar this is Maria from Bloom and Grow Radio's book. She's on YouTube as well as having a podcast. Um, I've been listening to her podcast pretty much since it came on. It was... I think one of the earlier Patreon supporters and stuff. So I've been following Maria for a really long time. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so tucked inside of the book are some stickers from the illustrator. And her name is Samantha Lung? Lung? Sorry, Samantha, I'm not sure how to... Samantha Lung, you can see her name right here. Oh, it's even got like a little, this is a beautiful book. So it's got the little ribbon there to keep your place. I love that. There's a little bit about routines in here. It looks like plants and the home. Uh, make more plants, grow more joy. So there's a little bit about propagating in here, which is cool. Um, a chapter on planting seeds, engaging your senses, going outside. So this is like... It's, this is like kind of a book that I always 
sort of wish existed. And I feel like Summer Rain Oaks kind of dabbled in this territory and like the more philosophical, um, beneficial side to having plants around you. So that was a lot of what her book was about too. But this is sort of a more direct, like instructional from what I'm seeing um, on practices to help you connect to your plants, to help you grow joy. Like it says, this is, I'm so excited to check this out. Let's see what else is in the package. All right. I know Maria was a little worried about the seed ball getting here in one piece, but it looks good. Oh, cute. Okay, so it's got Zinnia, Primrose, Poppy, Black-Eyed Susan, and Cosmos in it. This is from Modern Sprout. So they're like an American company. You might have heard of them before. All right, what else is in here? Ah, oh, so cool. I have always wanted to try this stuff. And I haven't used this particular kind. I've used a lot of Espoma organic um, fertilizers. I'm a big fan of them. They work so good for me. Um, not sponsored. They have no idea who I am, but I, I just really like them. Um, so this is the Biotone Starter. So this is kind of like something that you can throw into the soil when you very first plant something. It looks like it's also got some, oh yeah, it's got mycorrhizal fungi, fungi. It's got bacilli, all kinds of bacillus in here. Yeah. So this is like basically everything that your soil would need to be awesome. Awesome. I'm really psyched about this. This is a very cute, this is a very cute little package. Someday I hope to have my own book and I get to do this too. So fingers crossed for me in the meantime, every time one of my uh, content creator peers puts out a book, I am so happy to support it. I am so happy to read it and check it out. And I know that I know I'm going to love this because I love Maria's podcast. She is such a um, just terminally delightful human being. I mean, you can really tell that um, she puts a lot of effort into just like really putting a lot of love out there. And um, that's not super common. So I really appreciate it in people. I'm not, I am I am that way in some ways, but I am a very abrasive person sometimes and I can be a little negative and I can be a little dark. So I kind of like to be around people like Maria because it really like counterbalances, counterbalances. It sort of plays off of my energy really well. So I, I just love her to bits. Couldn't say enough good things about her and I am so very happy to have this. So thank you for sending it Maria and I will let you guys know uh, about my reading journey. Maybe we'll have a reading vlog. Oh, I can pretend to be a booktuber. Ooh, I've always wanted to do that. Okay, we're gonna do a reading vlog on this. Yes, yes, you and I brainstorming right now. We're a good team. Hey friends, so we're out in the garden. It is blazing fucking hot outside right now and I'm going to very quickly try to get some compost down in my beds because they need it. And I've been trying to get to it all week but I've been busy repainting my bathroom and getting ready for my son's birthday party this weekend. So part of that getting ready is getting the yard ready because obviously I'm gonna be giving garden tours while we're here. <laughs> like, duh. So I'm also going to try out some of this Biotone starter that I got in the PR kit for the new Growing Joy book. Excited to give that a shot. And I also have some Coast of Maine um, fertilizer and that's what we'll be using today. That's what we're prepping today, so let's get to it. All right, so here's the game plan. I am going to pull out all of these pooped out, tired, bug-eaten, bolting spring plants, and that includes what looks like a lovely patch of lettuce, but I assure you it is bitter and disgusting. I did get um, a few harvests off of each plant before that happened, so I'm not super bummed, but I do wish that I had remembered to harvest more in the mornings, which is when you ideally would like to pick lettuce. It's nice and cool and crisp. Um, and I would always remember in the middle of the day when it was all limp and tired. Um, so here's what we're using today. This is the Coast of Maine uh, Lobster Compost. And um, a little bit about this company, if you've never heard of them. I, I think they might just be on the East Coast, but I'm not too sure. Basically what's in here, um, they will get residuals. So leftovers from the, I guessing, the shellfishing industry. There's lobster and crab. Um, salmon, wild blueberries, cow manure, tree bark, worm castings, and seaweed all go into their products. So um, they work really well, I must say. I've been um, using this stuff for about two years now, 
off and on and um, I really like it. So it looks like I didn't really move the hay, um, which I use for, actually it's straw. It looks like I didn't really move the straw that I use for mulch, um, but I did actually take a bunch of it off, so it's not as thick as it looks, but most of my straw mulch has broken down and needs to be um, replaced anyway. And here I'm just um, resurfacing the bamboo that I use for um, marking off the square foot garden pattern in these beds. These are four by four. And then I use four foot bamboo to um, you know, put the grid pattern in there just so I have an idea of where my square footage is. And if you don't know what square foot gardening is, um, maybe I'll do a video on that someday. It's a pretty cool method. And this is another bed that I use that in. So basically today, you know, that was what I was paying attention to is my square foot beds. And you'll see in a bit um, my tomato and garlic bed. So I'm just adding the Biotone starter in here. This is one of my earlier raised beds. So this could definitely use a little, um, a little, a little bit of something, something to get it going again. And then here's that garlic and tomato bed. So I also spread a bunch of compost over here as well and sort of resituated the irrigation tubing. All in all, it was a really good day in the garden. I'm so glad you guys hung out with me. Thank you.